All right, so here's railings for you in a nutshell. So you can build railings in a 3D view, you can build them in a 2D view. All right, it's probably best served to put them in in a 2D view. So under the architecture tab, we're going to the railing tool. All right, you're drawing railings with like any line drawing tool. Uh, I'm just going to use my regular line drawing tool here. This is if I build it in 3D. All right, you can build railings anywhere. You do have some options to like chain that line together so you don't have to stop drawing at the end. You can just kind of keep going. All right, and you can build a railing like pretty much any place you sketch a line. What you can't do with railings, you cannot put like a gap in the middle of one piece of railing. So some people probably already saw that. Like, so if you draw a line and then stop and draw a line in another place with a gap in between, Revit's not going to let that happen. So it says, the railing line must be a single connected sketch. That's pretty much the only rule when it comes to railings. Okay, so with that, how do we precisely put railings where we want them to go on the front porch? Well, I would draw them in a floor plan view, all right, and I would probably draw a couple different segments of them. So I would go to the railing tool, and I would put one railing from like the center of the post up against the outside of the house. I'm going to hit the little finish tool. Go back to 3D, take a look at it. That's not bad, that's where it has to go. Okay, now we'll put one in between here and we'll put one in between here. So we'll go over to the uh, floor plan view again. We'll click the uh, architecture tab. We'll go over to, where's my railing tool? We'll do the same thing. So from the center of that post, over to the center of the next one. I can't skip to the other side, I have to just keep going. So I'm gonna hit the green check mark and finish it and then do a whole nother railing. All right. All right, let's check this out real quick. So you guys um, have half of the railings done. You could do the same exact thing on the other side, but you also have a tool that you can use to just mirror objects from one side to the other, right? So. If you pick the railings, so I just selected three, three railings, the control key adds to selections, all right? We already have tools to mirror, all right? So you could use the mirror draw axis tool and you could just pick like the center of the porch and draw it out, or you could use the mirror pick axis tool. And if you remember, we just set up our front door so that it's exactly in the center of that porch. So if we just kind of mirror the railings across that, now you got another three railings on the other side. So that was pretty fast too. It doesn't really matter how you do it. You know how the railing tool works. You know you got the mirror pick axis tool. You got the mirror draw axis tool. Any of those work. All right. Here's your computer's back. That's all you have to do.